on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I'm your host, Jimmy Smith, and I hope you're all having yourselves a great hump day. But we are here, and we're behind enemy lines, talking about the Eagles' week four opponent, the Washington Commanders. So we're going to go through, get to know everything about this team, and then throughout the week, Today, you'll actually get the initial injury report for both teams. You'll get the roster comparison, top matchups, all the things you need to know to get you ready for week four's matchup with the commanders. But I appreciate you all taking the time. This is not a live video, but I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Appreciate you hitting that like button, subscribing, all of those things. But let's jump right into this. Start this bad boy off and we'll take a look just in case you've been missing out on things what the Washington commanders were up to this offseason, what this team looks like this year. And, you know, they made a couple of moves. They had a good draft, I thought. Added a couple of pieces I really liked. Manuel Forbes, Jartavius Martin, Schaumburg, Daniels, Rodriguez. I thought some pretty good picks there. Uh, and then in free agency, added Brissett, Gates, Wiley, and Barton. And then you see they lost a healthy amount of guys that were used to seeing. So they lose their middle linebacker, Cole Holcomb. Bobby McCain leaves. Dantzler. And then on offense, Heineke, Schweitzer, Martin, Carson Wentz, McKissick, and Rulier retired. So, they lost a, a healthy amount, so it's definitely going to be a different team than what we saw. They were 8-8-1 eight, eight and one last year, and bottom of the barrel, but they were fighting for a playoff spot. So they beat the Eagles. It was the one team to beat Jalen Hurts in his like last 21st uh, starts here, obviously in the regular season. So, look, this team, it's a divisional matchup. They're going to come fight here, uh, and they don't want to you know, be the laughing stock as much as we want to laugh at them. This team's going to come out and fight. And, you know, the Eagles are obviously atop the NFC East there at three and oh, baby. And then you see the commanders two and one. So not doing too bad to start the season here. And look, again, they've got a bunch of new pieces. So try and find their way just as much. You know, the Eagles trying to figure things out. But luckily, you know, the Eagles undefeated at this point. And, you know, the commanders would love to try to spoil them, but ain't going to happen. So. You see there, you know, obviously a divisional matchup is going to be tough. And Jalen Hurts, uh, I think he's got something uh, called revenge on his mind. So all about seeing that. And, you know, with that two and one record, oh, they're doing great, right? Uh, not so much. I think there are a bunch of weaknesses and I can't wait to talk about them in the top matchups, break it down how we can attack it. But let's take a look at how they have been doing so far in the first Three weeks of the season tied for 19th in points 23rd in total yardage 25th in passing 15th in running giving up the most sacks at 6.3 per game holy hell and then 31st in interceptions 31st in total turnovers so yeah as i mentioned yesterday need to see some sacks and turnovers in this game i think we're going to get a lot i think that this team is hungry this defense they're getting pressure just need to get more sacks and Look, we're stopping the run, so it's okay that we're not, you know, the stat sheet's not jumping off the page. As long as you're winning games, doing what you need to, I'm all about it. Now, on the defensive side of the ball, last couple of years, not exactly that Washington defense we're used to. I saw someone talking about the strengths of the Washington team, and they left out their defensive tackles, Jonathan Allen and Deron Payne. I'm going to be honest with you. If you're making a strength sheet and you don't have their defensive tackles, maybe you should hang it up. Uh, they are monsters. So, you see 27th in points given up, giving up 28.7 points per game, 14th in total yardage, 13th against the pass, 22nd against the run. So run that damn ball right down their throats. Jalen Hurts, go after him in the air. You can see, though, they're getting some sacks there, tied for 7th, 3.3. They've got 0.7 interceptions per game, and uh, total turnovers there, 1.7 tied for 7. So they are getting the ball a little bit there, but uh, – having their mistakes. And I think that the Eagles can happily, easily exploit these weaknesses. So looking for a big win for the Eagles here, but again, divisional matchup. So you never know here. And I think, you know, the commanders, obviously Jalen are still pissed off at that one loss. So he needs to come out swinging. And I think that's going to happen, but let's take a look at this Washington team. Now get to know who is on the roster, who is on the practice squad, their coaching staff, depth, everything. You will get to see it right here. So Ron Rivera, head coach, B enemy, brought in Kansas City. Jack, January 6th, Del Rio there as deep coordinator. And then special teams coordinator, Nate Kazor. So um, some decent coach there. And I think, you know, obviously uh, this defensive coordinator is going to be coming after Hertz. He's got, you know, a personal vendetta. So uh, look, I think that it's going to be a tough matchup, but 
I think this defense can stop this offense, and I think this offense can happily stand with their defense. Now let's take a look, and we'll go position by position. You'll see who's on the active roster, the practice squad, and if there's anyone on IR, you will see at the bottom there. And then at the end, we'll take a look at it in the depth chart so you can see what it all looks like. So Sam Howell leading the way with Jacoby Brissett as his backup. Then you've got Jake from State Farm there. And uh, look, you know, this team, with Sam Howell, obviously going to take a little bit. He has a 65.7 completion percentage, 223.7 yards per game. He has 670 yards so far this season with three touchdowns, five interceptions. He's been sacked 19 times. So, ooh, get after his ass. I think this Eagles team will be ready to do that. Now, at running back, you got Brian Robinson now leading the way. He's got 47 carries for 216 yards. That's 4.6 yards per carry. Antonio Gibson, only seven carries so far, 35 yards. That's five yards per carry, but two touchdowns for Robinson there. He is leading the way. The Eagles, though, number one rush defense, shut him down there. Chris Rodriguez, an intriguing rookie they've got. He's only had a few carries, but maybe you see a little bit of him. they got Arma and Gore there on the practice squad. Now, at wide receiver, we know they are loaded here. So you've got Terry McLaurin, Samuel, and Dotson. Samuel's actually leading the way one yard more than Terry McLaurin at 127. But all three of these receivers can get you. you got Brown, Pringle, Crowder was brought in, and Tinsley. On the practice squad, you've got Casimir Allen and Bryson Tremaine. On IR is Dax Milne. But McLaurin, Samuel, and Dotson, man, this is going to be a very fun matchup. Can't wait. That's going to be one of the top ones talking about these wide receivers. Now, Logan Thomas, he came out looking pretty good. I had six catches. He had uh, 61 yards there, 8.7 yards per catch. Okay, then he gets a concussion on a bad hit there. But uh, look, we'll see if he's healthy for this game. They've got Bates, Turner, and Hodges if need be. On IR is Rodgers and Caden Smith. On the offensive line, we talk about how many sacks they're giving up. Andrew Wiley, weird how bad he is, you know, and uh, how much sacks he gives up. But in that Super Bowl, uh, we couldn't get any sacks. I wonder if it was the sloppy field. Hmm. Well, we're going to find out on Sunday when the Eagles beat his ass. And you can see on the left side there, Lenos, Charles, Gates, Cosme, Wiley, that's the starters. On the right is the backups there. Then you can see the practice squad. You've got Akinbulo, Brooks, and Jones Smith. And then on IR is rookie Braden Daniels. So that's the offense. I think this defense can easily whoop that ass, get some sacks and turnovers there. Then on the defensive side of the ball, you can see Jonathan Allen, Jerome Payne. If you're not talking about these guys, I just don't understand it because these dudes are studs. you got Patolio, you've got Bada, Brooks, and Mathis down there on IR, but Dude, Allen and Payne, it's going to be fun to see. Hopefully Dickerson's perfectly fine. They said he looks good, though. Kelsey and Juergens, whoo, going to have some fun matchups there. Then, uh, you know, they open things up for the edge. Montez Sweat's got three sacks already this year. We've got Chase Young back. Uh, he missed the first week. James Smith, Williams, <laughs> Casey Tuhill, we all remember him. Jones and Henry there. But look, um, these edge rushers, they will come after you. And those guys in the middle, they will open things up for them. So we've got to watch that. We have struggled against the pass rush. Did okay last week, but need to shore things up there. We're going to have to watch out for them. Now we talked about Barton taking over for Holcomb there. He's leading the team in tackles there with 28 total. And uh, I thought that was a great addition for them. John and Davis, not exactly living up to where they drafted him, but he's uh, an athletic freak. I like the kid. You've got Hudson and Mayo there behind them. On the practice squad, ex-Cowboy Jabril Cox and Dijon Harris. But good linebackers going to have some tough matchups with these running backs and Dallas Goddard. Now the corners, this is going to be fun as well because they've got some very good young corners here going against our talented receivers. Benjamin St. Juice, Kendall Fuller, and then the rookie Emmanuel Forbes. We talked about Jartavius Martin in the pre-draft process. I told you, I'd rather have Sidney Brown, but I like Jartavius Martin. But they also have Danny Johnson and Christian Holmes there. On the squad, you see Castro Fields and Whiteside, Troy Apke on IR. Now at safety, you've got Cameron Curl and Derek Forrest with Butler and Reeves as the depth. Burgess and Keedron Smith are on the practice squad there, but got some talented safeties there. Curl is second on the team with 25 tackles, and he's got a couple tackles for a loss, passes deflected. So I like this kid, um, but he's been playing all their snaps. So that is their safety. Going to be fun to watch how Goddard can work these dudes. Now, specialists, you got Joey Sly, Tressway, Cameron Cheeseman, the same as last year for the punter and long snapper. I think Sly is there as well. <clears throat> but then Antonio Gibson getting some work as kick returner. That's a little dangerous. And then they've got Crowder back there. So 
I, I like their special teams unit there. Going to have to watch out for that. So let's take a look at all of that stuff I was just talking about there. And I want to show you it as a full list. So you're going to get the practice squad. Then you're going to get the depth chart um, after you see the reserves, just so you can get a feel for what all of that stuff I just showed you. You got to see every position, but I want you to see it as a whole, give you something to look at here. But here's the practice squad, eight on offense, eight on defense. You just saw all those guys, but want to give you a full list here for the commanders in week four. If anything changes, I will keep you up to date with that. Then you see on the reserves list, all of these guys are on IR. Holy hell. Apke, Bada, Brooks, Daniels, Mathis, Milne, Abada, Rogers, and Smith. So all those guys on the IR for them. A lot of injuries there, but anybody in yellow is new to the squad this year. So let's jump into this depth chart. And you can see, again, anyone yellow is new to the squad this year. So they added a center and a right tackle, added some depth there on offense, but not much change. Still got very talented receivers. The running back looking much better. We'll see if Logan Thomas is healthy here, but we could definitely attack that line. Now on the defensive side of the ball, talked about adding Barton, drafting Forbes. So added a couple of nice pieces, but they've still got all those studs on the defensive line there. And uh, that secondary, do not sleep on it. So this is a talented defense. Should be fun to watch how they try to come after Jalen Hurts and this Eagles offense. Now, special teams, we just talked about it, but here you can see it as a depth chart there. And, you know, Crowder, a great punt returner. Gibson, a good kick returner. But you've got Dotson, Pringle, Tinsley, Samuel, just in case anything were to happen, you do have some depth there. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is behind enemy lines with the Washington Commanders. And I'm getting a lot quicker at these, even though I'm adding more information. But trying to get through this so you guys can just get this information, do what you will with it. But I will be back later today dropping a video around 4.30, 5 o'clock. And that will be the initial injury report for both the Commanders and the Eagles for Week 4. All right, guys, that's it, though. But um, if you got anything from this, do me a favor, hit that like button. You can always subscribe down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Who do you think the Eagles need to watch out for? Where do you think the Eagles can attack? Whatever is on your mind, you got a score prediction already. Whatever you're thinking, I'd love to hear it. But I'll be back later today. Hope to hear from you. Hope you're all having yourselves a great hump day. But until next time, I'm Jimmy Smith, and this is On the Road to Victory. You all stay safe out there, and as always, go birds!